Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to implement AND logic function using McClock Pitts neuron. First, we will understand the theoretical concept and then we will understand how to implement the AND logic function. McClock Pitts neuron is one of the oldest neural network which was discovered in the year 1943, which is also called as MP neuron. The architecture of uh, MP neuron looks something like this. It has two layers. The first one is the input layer and second one is the output layer. The input layer neurons are connected to output neuron with the help of a directed edge and the weights are of type uh, two types. One is a positive weight, another one is a negative weight. The exhibitory nodes uh, weight is, uh, is positive and inhibitory nodes uh, weight is negative in this case. Since uh, the firing of this particular output neuron depends on the threshold value, the activation function of this uh, network is defined as something like this. f of y in where y in is the net input which is equal to 1 if the value of uh, y in is uh, greater than zero, uh, theta in this case. Theta is the threshold value here. So for some threshold value, if the value of y in is greater than or equal to that threshold value, the neuron will fire otherwise it will not fire in this case now what should be the value of this particular theta the value of theta should be greater than n into w minus p where n is the number of uh, neurons in the input layer w is the positive weight and p is the negative weight in this case now we will try to understand how to implement uh, and function with the help of uh, mp neuron all of us uh, know the truth table of AND function which looks something like this. The output is uh, high whenever both the inputs are high. If any one input or both the inputs are low, the output is low in this case. Now uh, we need to remember one thing. MP neuron does not have any training algorithm. We need to do some analysis and then we need to identify the optimal weights as well as the threshold value such that the output the neuron will fire in only when the both the inputs are high in this case that is uh, if x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 1 the neuron should fire remaining all cases it should not fire in this case so first uh, we do one thing we will assume the value of uh, w1 is equal to 1 and w2 is equal to 1 and then we will check uh, whether we are able to implement the AND function with the help of uh, mp neuron otherwise we will try to modify this particular weights here now, uh, if you take W1 is equal to 1 and W2 is equal to 1, the network looks something like this. The input node has two neurons, the output uh, layer has one neuron. X1 and X2 are the inputs, W1, W2 are the weights. Now, uh, we need to consider each and every input and then we need to find out the uh, net input at this particular Y here. That is, uh, the first uh, input is 1, 1. So y in is equal to x1 w1 plus x2 w2 that is x1 w1 plus x2 w2. So x1 w1 is uh, x1 in the first case is 1 and w1 is 1, x2 is 1, w2 is 1 here. So if I solve this particular equation, I will get 2 here. Similarly, the second one is 1 0. So x1 is 1, x2 is 0 in this case. So 1 into 1 plus 1 into 0 that is equal to 1 in this case. Similarly, the third one is 0, 1, uh, x1 is 0, x2 is 1. If I solve this equation, I will get again 1 in this case. The last case, uh, x1 and x2 both are 0, so I will get uh, the net input is equal to 0. So these are the net inputs at this particular node y here. Now we need to apply or we need to find out the threshold value in such a way that the, this neuron will fire only when the x1 is uh, 1 and x2 is 1 in this case. So, uh, if you look at this particular y in, the theta value should be minimum 2 here. For example, if the theta value is equal to 2 or more, this particular condition will be satisfied and then the output of activation function will become 1. That is nothing but the neuron will fire. In all other cases, because 1, 1, 0, all of these are less than 2, in such cases, the neuron will not fire in this case. So, the theta should be equal to 2. That is, uh, it should be minimum 2 in this case. This particular theta can also be calculated uh, using this particular equation that is theta should be greater than equal to n into w minus p where n is the number of uh, neurons w is uh, the 
positive end and p is the negative end in this case so n is equal to 2 because we have two neurons w is equal to 1 p is equal to 0 because we don't have any inhibitory nodes in this case now once i put all these particular values in this particular equation i will get uh, theta greater than or equal to 2 in this case so this is the one more uh, method to find the value of uh, theta in this case so the final uh, activation function can be written uh, something like this y is equal to f of y in which is equal to 1 if the value of y in is greater than or equal to 2 that is the threshold value is 2 in this case in all other cases it is 0 so in this uh, case the and function that is in and function the if, if the value of w1 is equal to 1 and w2 is equal to 1 the theta should be equal to 2 here in this video i try to explain what is uh, maclock pitts neuron and how to implement the and logic function using maclock pitts neuron i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.